Take a seat. There's something I want to talk to you about. Another rule change? No, it's about Henry. I want to clear the air. Why? We are divorced now, you know. What's that got to do with me? I don't want to hear any of that shit. The last time when you and Henry fought each other? Yeah, I remember. You stopped us instead of letting us settle things for good, like men. But you don't know why I stopped you. I did not want you to have to kill your brother or die yourself. What the hell does that mean? You told me a killer wins by killing. Now you say you want us both to live. Make up your damn mind. They're our fights, and we know how to end them a lot better than some bitch in the box stand. Telling me not to kill. How many personalities do you have? <laughs> so what? You want revenge, right? Your opponents could not care less about that. Once I'm number one, these bullshit ranking fights are over. Got it? Assassins aren't tools. As fucked up as we might be, we're humans too. See, this is what I like. This is where Travis starts getting fed up with Sylvia and shit. And it's just so good. So we're back with a new session. Hopefully this is where we finish. No more heroes too. So we're on for the last four. Let's get on with it. Hold on a second. Is that like stairs or something, or just, okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, is that like a pit of hell? All right, so now we're gonna go on with this, and this is gonna be a while. I remember this being in particular what like kind of deterred me from it, and that's, um, excuse me. Like, you end up on this screen fighting these guys for, what the fucking hell, dude? Slice down for like 10 minutes. And that's what drove me up a damn wall. Because it was like, wow, this is really kind of annoying and monotonous and stuff like that. And I've been told it's supposed to be intentional to make you feel one with Travis as far as like how he feels about the fights. They're getting drawn on long and you're just tired of the killing. But see, the problem I have with that is the idea that that doesn't make me get tired of the killing, that just makes me realize I'm not happy with the game and I can just stop playing the game. So that's my problem. I think if you're going to design a game, you're going to want to do your best to keep us interested in the game and not, like, put us off from playing the game. That kind of seems like a bad goal. I think it's everyone. Wait for it, more people show up. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit. And upcoming is what I would say most people consider one of their favorite ranks. At least for de for definite their theme is. Because I have no idea how long the fight is going to be. I, I don't can't promise I'll be quiet for the whole thing. Now, the other thing is it seems like this is where you get most of your specials. A lot of ecstasy is used up and stuff like that. Like... It's occurred to me, as far as our special meter goes, we've barely shown off, like, any abilities. But I know for, like, this one seems like you get ability after ability, and I want to say that's intentional to help make this thing go from dragging on the whole damn time. At the same time, these guys are pretty damn easy to kill. I'm noticing here. So I'm hoping we can go ahead and see more abilities because we've only seen what like time slow down and uh, I think like quick attack or something like that. Yeah, so we just got time slow down again. Where is a people? Because there's like still another, at least two in particular that I can think of that we still have yet to show off. I think that's it. I'm stuck. I cannot maneuver in this video game. And the other thing, because I want to say, what happened? Did I teleport? Did I blink? What happened? 
I will see that in editing because I sure shit did not just see what happened there. This fucking door is in my damn way. Yeah, these guys are definitely super easy to kill and you get really lucky with the roulettes. Oh, come on. Yeah, and that's the other thing. You're going to get a lot of battery too. He's out of here. So I remember that being like a concern, but just about every time you, um, you're about to get your battery drained, you get ecstasy or an ability chime in. I think I'm just gonna like stop using ecstasy and just let the abilities take over. Oh yeah, sword beam, there's another ability we have been able to show off. Like I really feel like they they are aware that it's a lot so I mean I can believe intentional to a degree but I still stand by the idea of like I, there's all there's another reason and that's that fight number three has absolutely no monotonous shit either which kind of like that right there completely craps on the argument oh here we go finally now personally I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Tiger Travis but like if they wanted to put that in smash it'd be fine my favorite thing is just the idea that they sit there, panic, and cower and stuff. I think that's really cool. I like that. But I'm not exactly... I don't know. They're, they're, to me, it's kind of that difference between, like, goofy and then just a little bit too much. And I feel like this is pushing me a little bit too much. But if they wanted to make this, like, Travis's final smash or A move or something like that, they could totally do that. They could get away with that. His sword beam. Um... Maybe they could do something like, instead of a counter, be like, because I hate the fact that so many people have counters in Smash. Like, he could do it where he side sweeps and then does a quick attack kind of motion. I think that could be it. Like, they need to, like, I counted, and I want to say at least half the roster of Smash 4 has some sort of counter. And they just, they really need to stop doing that. They need to find more creative ways to do it because they're running out of ideas. And to me, that's kind of why I'm like tired of them throwing in Fire Emblem guys, is because they all kind of play the same. I mean, obviously, it's not entirely truthful because you know it's like, well, this one's fast, this one's more driven, like that. But like, special wise, they're all basically the same. We need something that plays differently from others, like. If you're going to put in someone that uses, like in this case, Travis, you know, another sword guy, you got to give Travis enough moves to make him stand out from just a, being a generic sword guy. That's the difference right there. Like how Link has his bow, arrow, boomerang, bombs, like that right there sets him apart. He has both close and distance. Wow, that was really annoying because I was kind of stuck and moving slow. I like the witch time for Bayonetta. It'd be kind of like, that's kind of what I'm thinking about is like, do something like witch time, except instead of that, Travis just attacks on his own. He just gets like a quick flurry of attacks out or something like that. He's out of here. Cool. Getting our batteries, getting our pizza. There's plenty, but you can see how, like, this is just where I was like, I did this rank and I was like, God, this is not fun. And if it weren't for the fact that, like, I was just, I don't know first time playthrough it just it left a bad taste in my mouth and this is kind of where I just after this rank I stopped I was like nope I can't do this shit anymore and that's what I mean like this shouldn't be the kind of feeling it leaves you alright good because I didn't want to have to turn on ecstasy like it shouldn't deter you from playing the game could you get the hell out of here and that's what it did for me, is it made this fight in particular made me stop playing the game because this fucking segment took years. Like, we're still going. I And that's the other thing, is I tried thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I think it's really just the fact that you don't feel like you're moving forward. Like, in comparison to others, where you get, like, the sense of progression of moving across an environment. So something like killing for... 15 minutes in the other levels, it doesn't feel as bad, because you're moving around, you're doing something. As to where in this case, you're just sitting in the same spot, like, just grinding it out, and that's what I think kind of is the huge difference right there. It's just this, for so long. 
but I mean, as I've been playing this over and over again, like it, it's not as bad as I remember, and I will defend that. And say that is absolutely truthful. Oh, we're out. I will turn on now again. I wonder what he was thinking. He's like, dude, your pimp tunnel's out. You should, you should do something about that. Oh, we're stuck. I swear there was other motions more than just the two diagonal downs, but maybe not. And look at all this battery and shit they give you just lying around. Let me go check these other chests while I'm at it. Pretty sure it's all just, yeah, more battery, more pizza, stuff like that. Ow! Thank you. I mean, I have no idea. That's the other thing, is I, um, I was looking back at my videos and I realized I haven't really been doing the charge attack too much, and that probably helped monumentally. But, um, as I was saying, I haven't been, um, I've been, I don't know if doing stuff like this and this uses up more battery than some of the other moves. It just feels like such a natural motion for me to do and I just like it. I also haven't really been kicking or punching these guys. Not like right now. In general I've been okay as far as doing it, but as for right now in particular, I haven't. Look, more ecstasy. See like now, what's what's the timer at? Okay, now we know how long it's been. Before I get in there I do want to check just to make absolutely sure that there's not money lying around any of these chests. I'm 90% sure there's not, but that was what I wanted to check. And isn't there a pizza lying around? So like, look at all those batteries we don't fucking need. But they just give it to you because they know that you're working your ass off. She was called the goddess of death. With sickle in hand, she would chant her requiem. If you heard it, odds were you'd just drawn your last breath. The mere sound of her voice would put ice in your veins. I know. I heard it myself once, from a hundred yards away. The moment it touched my ear, I passed out for an entire week. If I'd heard it up close, I can scarcely imagine. Forget it. Let's talk about happier things. Alright, so I have two things I want to say about this. Firstly, um, you know, upon your first time playthrough, or at least during mine, I didn't exactly realize that all those dialogues are basically trying to fill in the background story of each character. To me, it just felt like coded gibberish, so I really didn't understand or care or piece any of it together. Mostly because none of the stuff really stood out as being memorable. So... I think that's why, as to where now, it's like, oh, I understand she's talking about the upcoming fighter and stuff like that. So it doesn't bother me as much. The other thing I want to point out is the idea that she was wearing heels with um, knee highs, and I'm only saying this because I was told you're not supposed to do that. And I was like, I don't see what's wrong with it, it looks fine. And now I can say someone else, <laughs> being Suda, they're like, yeah, that's fine. So I don't, I don't get what I did so wrong, but apparently, yeah, Sylvia's wearing heels and socks. Let me go ahead and do a charge. Yo, you want some of this? I swear it feels a lot faster to, to um, just use it, fucking hell. It feels a lot faster to, I don't even remember what I was saying. Damn, I'm trying to think, because I was doing the charge thing. Whatever. Let's just move on. See, I don't mind this area right here, because this area doesn't feel so dragged on. I kind of like the environment, just the, the little grocery store. The tune here is pretty nice. So, like, I like this. It's just the fact that you're out there in the parking lot for so fucking long. Because not getting up. Because after you've toughed out the parking lot, you've toughed out the worst of it. It's just 
I guess my first time playing, I was so damn dra uh, drained that like it didn't even sit in or occur to me or anything like that. The other thing in the roulette that we haven't gotten yet was the, has been the Lucky Sevens. And if we don't get that, I'll explain. Um, I don't think I ever did explain the Lucky Sevens in No More Heroes 1. If you get Lucky Sevens in No More Heroes 1, I think it's just literally bonus and that's it. You don't actually get anything for it. Like, Travis doesn't do any sort of special move. He's just like, yep, I got it. And then you get a bonus at the end of your ranked fight. As to where that's what it does in this game. Coincidental timing, right? And those guys literally just popped in. They just popped in. Crazy. Oh, see, there you go. He's doing it. Oh, man, they all went down on me. That was a sentence. <laughs> but, like, he did it. He held me and then started get, uh, getting his friends to beat up on me and stuff. And I was not really a fan of it. Stab. He's not stabbing. He's getting up. Oh, he's doing it again. Like, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I was trying to talk about the charge attack, but... Like, the charge attack's good, it's just not good for something like this right now. It's good for that, um, ranking fights. Which, yeah, I'm gonna tell you straight up, the, um... The song of the next fight is pretty much about as much personality as you get out of that assassin. Because the pre-fight cutscene is, like, non-existent. It's like, hi! Hi! And then you fight, and that's it. And then the the song itself tells you who they are, because I guess they couldn't be bothered to fucking write it any other way. I mean, I guess it's cool, but I don't know, it just... You can only make assumptions out of it. I just really think there's so much delivery they could have revised. Yo, this guy pulled out a uh, fucking beam katana. Nunchuck things. There you go. What are we doing? That was just a backdrop. Uh, hi. No, I wanted to grab him. Here, you can get a charge attack. I didn't even kill him all the way. I am killing everyone. I'm working on it. Well, there. At least we can say this mission did what I thought it was going to do, and that was allow us to see the last of the abilities. Nice one, Travis. Sorry, I had to move the headphone cord. Yeah, that's it. Just those two areas. And I like the grocery store a little bit more. You don't want to go in there, Travis. Oh, why not? Because I said no. Grocery stores are typically places that I never go to the bathroom or even think about owning bathrooms. It's kind of weird. It's just like, this is where people buy food, not, man, I have to pee. 